guys welcome back to my channel I am doing another haul um, I'm gonna do this one from Nana makes sense sorry my dog wants to be a part of the video um, so I just wanted to show you that she put these really cute like foam stickers on the front of my package super cute so I have not opened anything yet I might pause though and then wrap some of this looks like she wrapped everything beautifully in this like really pretty tissue paper Wow, so pretty. So yeah, this is Nana Makes Sense. Let's see what else we have in here. So here's her business card. And she also includes like this little postcard that she writes on the back of and it says, hi Angela, thank you so much for your order. Uh, enjoy, happy melting. And then it says Barb. So super cute. I'm in the middle of my living room floor because I just figured this might be easier for me to sit down and do. Okay. <clears throat> my order total before ship was $24.50. So, um, she really puts a lot of time and effort into all this, it seems like. All right, honey. <laughs> Raven's got to check it out. Okay, I'm going to pause and unwrap as I go. Okay, so the first thing I unwrapped was this really cr pretty um, uh, scent in Christmas donut. It has like filling between the two donuts. Oh my gosh, so cute. What a cute idea. Kind of smells like ice cream to me. So, so I'm going to take this out. I'm probably going to make a mess. Look how cute this donut is sandwiches so stinking pretty oh yep told you I was gonna make a mess um, I don't have the scent notes I'm sorry guys <laughs> I say that every time but it's difficult not having internet at my house um, so yeah that's the first one we got Christmas donut it smells kind of like a vanilla ice cream to me so we got that Okay, and the next things that we got are Elf Village and this really pretty snowflake. It smells kind of like a tree scent. Um, or some type of woody scent maybe mixed with a sweeter scent. And then we got Christmas Eve and this really pretty like mint green color. Hmm. Kind of reminds me of like waffles. Mm, like a creamy waffle. I don't know. I'd just like to show you guys what I got. <laughs> I can go over like reviews later um, if you guys are interested. Okay. And I got Snowman Wishes. So I guess it's not going to focus because. Lighting is pretty crappy. Let's see if I move this out of the way. Okay. Mm, this one smells kind of citrusy. Creamy, sweet, a little bit of peppermint. I don't know if I said Christmas wishes, but this is snowman wishes. I'm not sure if I said that wrong. Okay, we got getting noggy with it. I got so much stuff for like under $30. That's crazy. Oh. Mmm. There's like clove in here. Oh, that eggnog is so delicious. I should have gotten more of this one. This one's so good. Mrs. Claus cookies. I don't know if I already hauled this scent before. Mm, it's hard to pick up a note besides maybe sugar cookie in this, but these were probably just poured. Yeah, this was poured on November 8th, so I think that one I'll come back to and sniff again, but it kind of just has like a sugar cookie kind of scent to it. This is Treats by Tara Lynn. It smells like popcorn. Like kettle corn. 
That's what I'm kind of getting off that one. That one smells good. Okay, move that out of the way. Okay, and I also got Amish cookie in this cute little bunt. I don't think I've ever smelled Amish cookie before. Oh, it's like marzipani. Mmm, yummy. Oh, that's so good. I'll zoom in a little bit for you guys. Okay, and then we got Snickerdoodle Latte. Hmm. I'm getting a fruity note, which is kind of bizarre. I'm not picking up Snickerdoodle at all. Or coffee. It smells creamy. I'm not sure. It's different. It doesn't smell bad, just not what I thought it would smell like. Okay, and then this is the last, especially for you, which I think might be samples. Yes, see how she puts, oh, never mind. <laughs> They're all falling out. Okay, first sample is in Buttering Up Santa. Mmm. I don't know if this has rum. It's so, like, um, yeah, like, buttery. Um, like, really rich. We got apples, apples, baby. That's interesting. It is apple with maybe some spices. There's a creaminess to it also, or maybe like a pie crust kind of note, but it almost kind of smells like um, body care-esque. Not completely, but it doesn't smell quite as edible. This is chestnuts roasting on an open fire. I think I did haul this in my last order. Yeah, I think I really liked it. Mmm. It's giving me an almondy kind of note. I'm not sure why. It's, it must be the chestnut. It smells so good. And we have Becca's Texas Blend. I'm not sure what that is. It kind of broke, but. Yeah, it's hard to smell. This is poured on the 13th. I'm um, not sure what that one's supposed to smell like. It smells kind of like a cookie. <laughs> I feel like everybody's, everything just starts to smell like a cookie. And this is in the scent December. Oh. Hmm. I'm getting like a powderiness to this. Maybe it's a floral note that I'm not distinguishing. Yeah, it smells kind of floral to me. It has some type of sweetness in there. It's kind of like a floral note, though, so, which I did not expect for um, a scent named December. So, um, super cute, though. Um, yeah, so I got all this for under $30. Pretty amazing. Um, I think I've melted maybe one or two things from her, so I'm still getting an idea of where her wax performs the best. But um, I'm so excited for this donut. It looks so freaking cute. Um, and I pretty much love everything that I got. So yeah, I'll give you guys an update as I start warming. Thanks for tuning in. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. I do lots of hauls um, and I do weekly um, wax um, melting bins and then sometimes I do empties. So yeah, just a little bit of everything here on my channel. Um, and we will talk soon guys. Um, okay, bye.